So the role of the, the new Kite Mark that we're launching for asset management is to look at whether asset management companies are embedding BIM into their processes. So the work that we do with asset management companies is, is looking at getting their processes in place and making sure they've got their processes to, to manage that asset information effectively across the life cycle of that building from defining what information they need to collect and how that's going to be collected and how that's going to be maintained with their supply chain and how they can get the most out of that information for the benefit of the asset owner. When you're considering a building will be designed for 60 years at least, uh, infrastructure projects are much longer than that. So if you consider the operational costs of, of maintaining an asset for a huge number of years, having uh, that asset maintained in a really effective way, being able to collect that information and draw on the information um, in a really efficient way um, can bring huge benefits. We've been using the, the analogy with, with a bit like the car service logbook. So you, you know, you've got a, like having a full service history for your, for your car. If, you, if you're selling your car, um, you can be much more happier to provide assurance to, to who's buying it. that It's all up to date. Similar with a, 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 another type of asset, you know, a, you know, a building or other infrastructure project. Um, so having that assurance that you've got all that information to hand and it's been updated, and then that, that can be really uh, beneficial to, to an asset owner. So the Kite Mark has been designed for asset managers to, to provide them with the assurance that their, their processes are in place, but it also benefits the asset owners because if the asset management company is managing their assets effectively, so keeping the information up to date, if there's some minor works that are carried out in the building, uh, making sure all of that information is current. So when a, a building is handed over, say if it's sold, or if the uh, change of management happens, the future life, then all of that information is current and correct and it's all been done in accordance with what that client requires so it, it gives assurance to the asset manager because they can demonstrate to their client that they're managing the information for their, their clients buildings um, effectively. We're talking about a building but it, it may also be an infrastructure project so it could be a road it could be a bridge it could be a power station you know it's something that's providing service to a user, so that might be a, a, an occupant of a building. Um, so it may be an asset management company, uh, maybe facilities manager that's managing the information. Um, so there's different t tiers. So there's the, the managers of the asset information, and there's the providers of that information. So you may be a member of the supply chain that's providing information to the, to the asset management company, or you might be responsible for actually managing that asset information. So the uh, Kite Mark standard is based upon the PAS 1192 uh, Part 3 and it, we also look at the 1192 um, standard looking at the use of common data environments. BSI, we uh, host the BIM Level 2 portal, so we've got all of these standards um, available there. Um, you can also contact one of our BIM team and we can advise you of your, your next steps. The uh, assessment scheme is, is, is based upon your, your, the scope of your organisation and, and what you're responsible for. So the assessment may, will vary from organisation to organisation, so that's the starting point. We'll then arrange for a gap assessment and that's designed to help you understand you know, where you are in achieving the requirements. Then once you're ready, you go through to uh, a formal assessment and that's where we will look at your processes. And, but we don't just look at processes, we don't just look at your capability, we'll also look at actual assets you're managing. So we'll go into those particular assets to look at the data that you've got and, and how that's being maintained and managed. Mm -hmm.